It was a nuclear volcano. On April 26, 1986, the number four reactor at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Soviet-controlled Ukraine was undergoing a late-night safety test. A combination of flawed reactor design and inadequately trained operators led to a catastrophic power surge, triggering a series of explosions. The 1,000-ton reactor lid was blown off and a fire burned for 10 days, spewing a cloud of radioactive material that dwarfed the atomic bombs of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This was not a contained accident, it was a nuclear volcano. The fallout contaminated over 150,000 square kilometers across Belarus, Ukraine and Russia. The toxic cloud drifted over all of Europe. Hundreds of thousands of liquidators, firefighters, soldiers and workers were sent to the site, many with little to no protection, to liquidate the consequences. They heroically shoveled radioactive graphite off the roof and built a sarcophagus over the exposed core, sacrificing their own health in the process. The long-term effects of the Chernobyl disaster are staggering. While the immediate death toll was in the dozens, the World Health Organization estimates thousands of future cancer deaths are attributable to the radiation. A 30-kilometer exclusion zone remains, an eerie ghost world where nature is retaking the abandoned city of Pripyat.